years ago when people talked about a smart building, they were thinking about energy and building controls. And I, the problem is I think today some people still think that's what a smart building is. And smart buildings are so much more advanced than that now. And everything from interacting with people's calendars to understanding when you're leaving the house. So it literally goes outside the building. It actually goes to that employee. But you have to think about what that actually does. Because if it actually allows you to accommodate someone in a digital way, and it's an overused example, but I am going to talk about Uber. Because if you think about the simplicity of interacting with that kind of a service, that's what's happening in the buildings. And so if you're able to do that, what it actually is doing is it's also impacting investor real estate. So when you start looking at models like WeWork, for years and years, the corporate real estate community had asked for far more flexibility and agility from the real estate providers and from the owners. How do we get that much needed flexibility? What it's doing is it's allowing a corporate occupier to take the exact amount of space that they really need and really elevate that employee experience and their brand within that space, but it's also giving them a tremendous amount of flexibility for that flex space and whether they have to do it themselves within an, um, a rented building or whether an owner can provide that, it's actually changing the entire framework of real estate, occupier and investor. Mm -hmm.